Alrighty, here we go. We got the dry shaft made. I'm very happy with it. What I have done is I've taken a piece of paper. I'll show you exactly what I've done. I took a piece of paper. Should have been ready. I should have been ready. I should have been ready. Sorry about that, sweetheart. Sorry about that. I took a piece of paper and uh, shoved it on the end of the transmission. Just shoved it on like that. Shoved it on my hand. Pushed on it. Did whatever I had to do to get a, a 3D print, 3D readout print of that. And that's what I did. Cut that out with a pair of scissors. Wanted to check it out, see what I had to do to the end of the of the yoke here. And come to find out, I tried. Come over this way, baby. Come to find out, I cut it out, and it fits perfectly. Ha <laughs> ha! Fits perfectly. So 19. I don't know. Whatever ja your jag that is fits perfectly on our end of our drive shaft. Today is the day they're getting married. Yes, they are. Yes, they are in holy matrimony. I think I'll let Jim be the best man, and uh, Jolene can be the best woman, and I'll be the. I guess I'll be the the guy that marries them. So we're gonna put this back in there. Uh, what I have to do, or what I want to do, is I want to put the dry shaft in to show you and me what it looks like. It's funny, you know. Old I'm over old Jim's place. Got the heat and. And uh, banged in the in the yoke or the studs or whatever you, in the yokes there, banged them in. And uh, if if I did not show you the process, you would never know when I handed you your drive shaft and say, "Here you go," and you go down the road and you're happy as a lark. You'd never know. But anyways, as I've done that, I'm going to try to shove it in the car. I'm going to take them clips off the back. I want to thank Jim for throwing out a little bit of heat there. Appreciate that. Appreciate that, and uh, that's that's just kind of the guy I am. I try not to let things like that slot stop me or slow me down. Um, if that stops me and slows me down, then I'm then I'm slowing down the process of getting it done, and I do not want to do that. No, not really, not really. Let's see what happens here. Let's just go slow. So I'm going to drop this car down on today. We get to see what's going on. There, get that in place. Look at that. Get that in place. I had to clean these up a little bit. It was not it was not ready for this, but I cleaned her up and got it ready. It wasn't holding my tongue right, I guess. There's one. I'm going to try to do this as quick as I can. Trying to get it, try to get something done in the hour. Did not like leaving yesterday, but it was sure nice to go visit Jim, you know, just out for a visit. He had the heat, I know he did, because I was talking to him about his window when he, when he walled up his window. So, uh, it's the first place that was on my mind. And all he charged me was a good time. What right, a baby, huh? So all he charged me was a good time. Get this in there like that. And the front is amazingly the same as a 1935 hop. The yoke in the front is the same as a 1935 hop. And I know this because of that. Just putting that in there. Put this in there. Everything's still going to have to be gone over, but I really have to put it together to say I've built the car to mock it up. I really have to, you have to build it and then take it apart and finish it. And I'm thinking that Jolene's going to be happy going down the track. I'm thinking, I'm thinking, and uh, this drive shaft's the first step to take her down the track. 
baby. We're hooking, we're hooking the power to the rear end right at the present moment. And uh, we're doing that just for you. For Jolene. Jolene. And me. It's all an adventure, basically. We want to go on an adventure. And this is the one that we're using to go on it. We're going to have a hell of a time making memories. Making adventures like that. Building something like this and taking it somewhere. Filming it at the same time. Awesome. We're going to leave that like that for now. That's fine. We'll go with that. We'll say the back's in. That's what I'm saying. I'm going to the front. Also, look at that now. Good. Good. You can see where I've got my my uh, uh, universal joints aimed this way. Same as this one. We got on the end of this one. I mean, the yokes are pointing the same way. So we got it nice and straight. Let's see if we can get this mounted on this thing. Does it go this way? Which way does it go, baby? Go that way. I'll have to get it in the right, right direction first, I guess. Looks right, looks right. Come on, baby. Come on, baby. Hoping that's right. My beautiful assistant's handing me nuts. Thank you, Jolene. Hope I got it done the right, right way. And I think I do. Not now, would you? Grade 8 bolt. I can just tighten that up at any time. I want to get them all in. Hold my tongue right. Ah. That one started. One more. Where did I drop that sucker at? What's that, baby? The nuts right. Okay. Thank you. Let's see if I can get the last one in. And then I'll be able to tighten that up and uh, say the dry shaft's completed. are on just tighten that up uh, slip yoke will come up come out now the rear ends bolted in dry shaft does not hit on this piece I can take a look take a look and see if I like the, the pinion angle on the rear end at any point in time I can change it a little bit if I want it up a little higher make it look a little straight a little turn up like that I can we got to remember though that this that's pretty well straight on. Looks pretty nice. We got to remember there's no suspension in the rear end. The reason there's no suspension in the rear end is because we're running down an eighth mile track for a flathead. Uh, basically, all the holes are for weight and artistic expression. I guess that's basically it. Just trying to uh, trying to mimic what they used to do or think what they used to do. 
and uh, do it my way. So basically we've got a drive shaft in it now. So if downtown John started that engine now, or if I started it, we clicked it in gear, it's taken off. <laughs> basically, we've got it in neutral right now because I could turn that in shaft of the transmission. But now, right now, it's telling me that the drive shaft, I'll just take a look at it. I don't really have to make much of a tunnel for it. Uh, this part here, I just need a little tiny bit up here above the rear end for the floor. On the floor, we're, I'm going to use, I'm going to try to use aluminum again to make it as light as possible. I'm trying to make all the floor pans out of aluminum and uh, I'm going to go from there. But this part right here, as this is welded on, the outside still with all these holes in it, basically they're there to hold the car from going apart. The A pillar and the B pillar have braces on them that are going to sit on this part and, and the outside sill is going to weld onto the outside square tubing to hold the car from going this way. The A and B pillar are going to hold the car from going down too far. So basically we're ready to marry it. Um, the reason I'm going to marry it is because I'm going to use aluminum on the floor and I'm thinking that I'm going to put a couple square tubing out, outriggers here, a couple outriggers there from this square tubing to that square tubing on the outside of the car and I want to be able to weld it and put it on before I lay the aluminum down because the aluminum will interfere with what I'm doing. So basically um, I've got it mocked up to what I want. Uh, when I get it on then, then there goes more that I'm going to have to mock up. There we go, baby. Huh? Look at that, would you see that? See that? See that dry shaft turn? Whoop, whoop, whoop. Touch that. Now I have to line this back up. I'm going to have to get Jolene to help me again to put this down on. It's going to take a little bit to get it centered up. Yes, it is. And uh, that's what goes on when 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 uh, two parties get married. It takes effort and work and all that stuff to make it work. So it's no less or no more with two cars coming together. It's work. It's work. I'm going to start putting it down on. I guess. And see where we're going. All right, drive shafts in, baby. I gotta thank old Jimbo for the use of the torch and his time. Taking this off. Hard to believe I was out here late at night here just a while ago, yeah, the other night because I thought it might have got windy and blown the car off the hoist. I wasn't really Let's see with that, Let's see with that, Let's see what that happens here. We're gonna let it down a little bit more. Just trying to lie her back up again. All right, Jolene, I think it's, I think I might need you, sweetheart. I need you every, every day, but if you know what I'm trying to tell you, I think I might need you to help me put this down on. Hey, what am I doing here? What's going on there? Taking it off and on sometimes is, you know, it's hard, but um, I'm going to, actually, that one's on there. That one's off there. I'm gonna take this one off. I'm gonna lift it up and let it down slowly. And I want you to, yeah, to pull that out. Awesome. 
Why? Well, it's okay. We're gonna have to clamp the front down, and it's not right where it's supposed to be. We're gonna come ahead some by looks things. But we'll get it down on. Alrighty, sweetheart. I want, I want you to put the camera down. I'm gonna actually I can let this down a little bit further, then I'll get you to put the camera down and put the back down. Watch myself, eh? What's going on there? I'm on something. I'm on the wheel. Are you able to put the camera down and help me out? Joey's gonna be kind and help me pull the the, the hoist out so I can marry these two people? Ha, these two people. <laughs> Taking it too serious, ain't it, baby? Huh? Taking it too serious. You're going to the other side, do the exact same thing. Can you get it? Can you pull your red thing? Awesome. Let's bring her ahead. Bum, 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 bum. We gotta come ahead. Sorry, Fina. I need you to stand in front of the frame, will you please? We are just, actually, I can just put something in front of the frame, or the wheels. I just want to push it ahead some. Got another inch to go, probably. Vice grips clamp down the front here. Get it where I want it to be. Make sure it is where I want it to be. Hard up against that. It is. It is. Hmm. They didn't work. Huh? They did, but. Can't see any place to clamp that at the present moment. Ah. Basically what I'm going to try to do is, this bar here, I got, it's tied up to the engine, there's a bar going across there, it's always, it's been tied up to the engine every time I've been playing with it, so I put it back, and that's that bar right here, it's always been tied to the engine, I'm going to cut that out of there when we're all done, but that was always been tied up, now I just want to measure side to side, see if we got the same, and that we have not, I know where the same is right there. In it, baby. Huh? Now the vice grips fit good there. Bum, 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 bum. 
Let's go look at in the back. Nice. Want the back over a little bit. I'm just looking at this right here, down the middle thread of that. Little teeny teeny bit. Down the center of that. And that just did over a little top of that. Looks good to me. Looks good to me. Ah, da 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 da. Down in the front. Okay, I like it. I like it in the back. I'm just basically trying to center it up. I know I had the rear end centered. So I'm just basically going by that. And we're going by the front now. The point of that gusset is right on. The point of that gusset's right on. That one there is nice. All on there. The back's nice. Checking it over a little bit more. Center of that engine's cut out nice. Don't have to use a tape measure here, I do not. And the only reason I'm saying that is because as long as it looks good, that's all that matters. The other side of that. That's in there. That gusset's there right at the point of that. Why can't I get that back down? Oh, because it's where it's supposed to be, that's why. Okay. Aye. How am I going to do that now? Uh, how am I going to do that now? hooked on something that's why it was hooked on something man I think I can do it now I think I can do it now haha <laughs> there we go and the point on the tip of that it's up against the motor one two line showing there. Printer on the third. Two. Where's the welder at? Let's marry them in holy matrimony. That's what I'm going to do. It's right there. It's time to weld them on. Bah, bah, bah. Doing a little work on the cab over today. Jolene had a little meeting today with her friends and and. Uh, I got to do a little work on the cab over, got the roof filled, got some filler on the roof. Took me some time, but I got it done. Ah. Got it done. This is exciting, baby. Uh, the floor, after I'm done this, will be part of the car and we'll hold it together. And death till to do it part, you know. Floor's gonna hold it together now. Basically what I'm gonna do is I'm just gonna come up here and tack it right on the skeleton itself from the A pillar down. It's got that little bracket that comes out and it's got a gusset on it and it welds to the square tubing itself and I'm gonna plan it down now. Pull my vice grips out of there. Oh, 
Why is that right along there? Alrighty. I think it's time to put some glasses on just because it might go better for me. Not so bad. Just gonna tack the other side down tight now. Use the vice grips. Now that I'm putting this together, I'm welding the square tubing and putting the body on. If the body is in any way, you know, over one way or out of shape, then you can put shims on it, shim it up if you want to, you know. It's basically, it's pretty basic stuff, you know. Build it, and if it's not quite exactly right, you're allowed to put a shim in it. They did for years. Did for years. That off. Put a little more weld on that. We got her tacked down there. Bum, 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 bum. Gonna go on the inside. I wonder if I can get that. We'll run her up one side. I'll go on the inside, get on the step ladder, and I'll get inside, and then we'll tack the back. And I don't think we need the step ladder right at the present moment. We've got the hoist. Who's your daddy? Huh? Bust that speed down some. I'm gonna turn that speed down, sweet a little bit, sweetheart. Woo. What's the speed on the seven? seven? <laughs> Can you turn it down to six? And then wonder it's going so fast. Good. Oh, I love you. So much better. Jolene knows wire spade. Put a seat and a steering wheel in this thing. You can go down the down the grass. I don't know if we want to do that quite yet, but it's true. It's true. One more, and she's on for, she's on more to the, to the end. They're saying their vows right at the present moment. And after this, she's all said and done. Awesome. She's on, baby. 
Hope she's not. She's. Not, we haven't moved anything. I don't think. All the braces can be cut outside. Um, there's probably a couple. A couple things I'm going to do. Come take a look if you want, sweetheart, and I'll just talk it through here. Uh, you can see. Yeah, come on up. Come on up, baby. Baby's hair looks good today. Nice and straight. Beautiful and blowing. Uh, you can see how this cross member has in, been inside the wheel well to wheel well. Um, I've cross braced with the square stock. I'm going to keep all the square stock. I'm going to keep all the square tubing once I cut it out of here. I'm going to use it again. No doubt in my mind. But at the present moment now, see, I can come up here to there, here to there. Completes the floor in the back and holds it in. And I can also go up from that corner to that corner, that corner to that corner. When, the, when I say the square tubing, now I have the square tubing in here. And I have the new underneath sill here. Now I have a chance to run some square tubing from here to that square tubing on the outside, maybe one where you can't see it above below the hole. So I can put a little strength in that to help hold it up and hold it from going apart. So I'll run some square tubing in there because I'm going to lay my floor down over top of it. I do, I'm not going to see the holes. They're going to be underneath, obviously, uh, just like the holes in the frame. Underneath, can't see them. Unless Jolene runs over top of you. And I hope she doesn't do that. Um, but anyways, as I put the floor on, we're going to put an aluminum floor on this, I'm thinking. Then we can set our floor on top of that so you can't see it and also we'll have something to connect it to. I'm planning on, we'll see. But anyways, the car is married to the floor now. When I go to pick the car up, the floor is going to come with it. Um, that's all there is to it. It's welded on. It's in place where we want to be. And I did it by eye. I eyed it up on that side. I eyed it up on that side. Went to the front of the motor. I eyed it up on that side. It looks good. I'm going with it. If I have any problem with anything not looking good, well, then you can add a shim when we put the floor back on. So we got the steering left. I got to put steering column in and basically left that because them steering columns, you have to, the steering columns and those things, you are what? Um, the steering column does not come out of the steering box. It makes it difficult sometimes. I've got, I got my inch gap I need. Good, 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 good. Uh, now, where that's on there. See, I had my rear end in place because um, I had to put my dry shaft in. And we know the dry shaft ran crooked because that's what I did. When I look back here, I see two. And just going over the thing, when I look back here, I see two. Beautiful. Love it. Uh, basically, what I'm going to do now is I'll be able to take the plasma cutter and cut that off and tack that to the outside sill. Stops the car from going apart. The, in, the e, A pillar and B pillar are the ones that stop it going down. And, and they are married. They are married. I'm gonna start the plasma cutter up. Cut them outside pieces off just to get started. Um, and what I mean to cut them off to get started is I'm gonna weld them to the square stock on the outside, which stops the car from going open. It's a beautiful day here in Nova Scotia. Off and on, off and on, off and on. So I'm going to end up taking the body off again and getting, you know, doing a little bit because we're going to put uh, aluminum floors in it, I'm thinking. Uh, we're going to put aluminum floor, we're going to put whatever we can to make it as light as possible to make Jolene have the best experience as possible. That's what I'm going to do. That's what I'm going to do. I'm going to grab a, the air here and turn that on. Lights on. I want a pair of gloves. Dun, dun, dun. Had a new pair here somewhere. Oh, I got them. I got them. We'll cut the outside sill off. And the holes that I put in the outside sill were for just just being creative. Why not? Uh, like it's like you know, it's going to be run down an eighth mile quarter tr on a track. It's there's we're not driving it in the mud and the rain, the wet and the water. This is basically uh, basically a race car of its time. 
What I mean by it's time, I'm building it. If it's a flathead, you must, you must admit that we're thinking about the 50s, right? It's a flat, it's, it's a, of its time. Now I've got to bring that up. And that welds on there tight like that. i take a pair of ice grips. Nope. C clamp, C clamp. Actually, I just run that along there. We'll just get it started. Because we can run it all along there just like that, and then you can see what it looks like. Whatever's not cut off far enough, we'll just slap or wheel it so it is. Timber. So now we're going to bring that up there. What I'll do is I'll bring that up tight, tack it on, and then I'll have to do tear, tack one on, push it up, tack one on, push it up, tack one on, push it on, tack it up, and go that way with it. And then I'll grind it off so it looks nice. Yes, I will. Take this to the other side. Jolene has stuff on the Facebook that we don't get to see on the YouTube. Uh, it's too much to upload sometimes, and that's why it's done that way. But we want to thank everybody for all the good comments and everybody watching. Um, all the new people that come, um, I hope that the people that have been following fill them in. But if not, we're building this car for fun, uh, for Pine Tree Jamboree. It's, ne it's August next year. We want to... I want to get Jolene to race this car in the flathead one one eighth mile. Um, it's basically a you know a tractor race, <laughs> but we're going to go have fun in the experience of doing it. We plan on building. Well, we've been building this truck. We've been filling it out off and on. Uh, but basically, what I'm trying to do is sh to show you my daily process. Um, we can't show you everything, but we show you an hour at a time. And I hope that you appreciate. We show you real. That's what I hope that you appreciate. Um, you basically don't know unless you've been shown, you know, if you, like, like the drive shaft, let's take that for instance. If you have never built one or cut one apart, not much should come from that gallery. <laughs> you know what I mean? Like it's kind of, you have to really do it to know. I've done it enough. I've banged on them. It doesn't hurt them none. I've, I've never had a problem, I guess. Um, no, I haven't, and uh, I can't see having a problem with that one either. Uh, I know the Titanic has sunk, but I'm hoping that one's a good one. Basically, there it goes. There she is on the handbag. Now I'm just going to come along there. That one seems to fit up nicer than the other side, but that's okay. It's okay. I could have had that one pointed down. It's only a sheet of metal with some holes in it. So what I'll end up doing is pull it up nice and tight. And uh, with that pulled up there nice and tight, you can see where we're going. We're looking good. Jolene looks better, though. Alrighty, she's married in holy matrimony until probably death do it part. I've got some square tubing that I want to put in from the rear end, rear of the floor up to that square tubing that's in the in the wheel across the wheel well there. Then I can cut all after I connect this up 
after I connect that, I can cut all the inner support out of it because we've got it so it can't come apart now. We got it because it's tied here. The roof's tied together, it can't come apart at the roof, can't come apart at the bottom. It can't go down over the floor or down over the frame because we're on top of square tubing that has one, two, three, four, five, five, five cross members. So you'd have to drive them cross members down through the floor to drop the car down. Everything's going good. Um, they are married and uh, I think they're going to be very happy in life because we're going to look after it. All right, baby. Want to give away a hatter shirt? Let's give away a hatter shirt. All right, that went good. I like it. I like it. And the reason being I didn't do the floor right now, you could have or I could have done the floor and put all the floor panels in it and then welded it on. I want to do the aluminum on the floor and basically that's it. And I do not want to interfere with, with whatever. How much time, baby? Oh, wow, I could have went a little bit longer. I could tack them up. I can tack them up. You want to go to the other side? I can tack them on. Let's tack them on. Let's go. Actually, let's, let's start on the rough side. Let's start on the rough side. That's the side to start, right? Trying to get done early, boys. Trying to get away early. Nope, nope. Not getting away early. Got 15 more minutes in here. Let's put them up there. Make sure it's married together forever. I'm going to tack this on, and wh wherever whatever's left over hanging off, is I'm, I'll bust that off with the feather wheel, bust that off the feather wheel. Then I'll come back and do and, and tie it on tighter. And basically, what I'm going to do here is I'm going to get half smart. I'm going to start from the center. That way, there, if there's any problems, I can. If there's any problems. We'll run them out the end. If that makes sense. Nice square stock to weld to on the bottom. So I'm not real scared of warping things up, but it, listen, it moves, believe me. And um, when, when I say there's not much to worry about, there's still, there's still movement. There's still movement. In there, baby. Yep. My baby said so. That means there is. I can tap that up with a hammer if it's not tight somewhere. Really well done. I'm glad that I... It's nice right underneath there. I like where it's at. I like it. About to pound it, are we? This is where the bend goes like this and then up. So we're going to have a little bit of a, an issue there because the metal wants to do something funny, obviously. And uh, I'm just going to put it up and weld it at the end of it. Put it up and weld it. Basically, what I'm going to do is I'm going to stretch the metal and make it go where I need it. Actually, it wants to be shrunken by. I don't know. Aye. And under pressure, boys, that was under pressure. I don't know if I like that anymore, that piece holding it off. Yeah, I can get it. Good. Awesome. Wow. That made that something strong. You see how it's, yeah, it's cool. Looks good. That looks good.
This is what we have. Come along there and grind that off. Looks good underneath there. That so made that so strong. Wow. Going to the other end. Probably could have done something a little different here with the, the hoist, but. I'm getting out of here, man. He's welding us. Now it's, it'll be flapper wheel to get it down where it should be. And then we'll reconnect it. Awesome. So, I'm going to have to come in there with the flapper wheel. Knock that back so it's nice to weld on there. That's cool. Now I can run some metal, metal, uh, Braces on the inside from the floor, square tubing from the floor over. She looks like, I don't know, looks like some kind of shark or something with all the openings underneath, you know, just from this, can you see it? You have to come in, like, from here. You have to take your camera off, probably. Yep, cool, eh? Slick. Man, slick. Going to the other side. I think that was a good move. Well, I know it was a good move. Running from the center. Ah, I know I got a mess going on there. I do, I know, but I'm going for it. And we'll clean it up after, okay? I know. One on. What's that, sweetheart? Cool. She's gonna let me go, boys. Let's give away a hat or a shirt. Let's do it. Let's do it. See, that's what she's gonna do. She's gonna save a little bit for Facebook because Facebook is another crowd that we entertain and get to um, judge me. And uh, it's all good. Let's 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 get in this computer and give somebody a hat or a shirt. Just to show appreciation, we're going to have to somehow switch it up a little bit and give uh, Facebook a hat or a shirt. We appreciate it a whole bunch. We do. We appreciate everybody following and watching. We have married the car. We basically now we need the steering column put in, and that's basically going to be put in where it needs to be, and then I'll weld it to the frame somehow, wherever it needs to be welded in at, and then it needs a maybe a set of brakes not really but maybe there's a lot of stuff that has to be tidied up and uh, winter's coming soon so I'm gonna have to pick my poison because winter's coming we're gonna go to the front of the garage trying to get some internet we are stick with us we're gonna give away a hat or a shirt and the reason that we give away our hat or a shirt is because we appreciate we appreciate the comments and the time that someone takes to give us a comment
478 comments. That's a good one, man. Thank you very much. I remember when we were at a thousand. Uh, that was that was that was then, and this is now. So we got to we got to muster forward somehow. Al, no, no. How quick? Thanks, Joni, for the extra little videos. He must be talking about Facebook. He must be talking about Facebook because Jolene put some extra little videos on there. And the reason being is that she can load them um, quicker than she can or smaller ones on. And it's for mobile. And it's for mobile. Like, that's what she's saying for mobile, like the phone. A lot of people wanna, don't have the computer or not on the TV and they want to watch on their phone. That's what Facebook's good for. If you want to watch on your phone, she puts little ones up and down so it gives you a full screen. Smart lady she is. Smart lady. i got to congratulate her on how smart she is. And then I'm going to pat myself on the back for being mine. That's what I'm going to do, Pat. What? Teamwork. Teamwork, they call it. Teamwork. Thank you very much. How quick you deserve a hat or a shirt of your choice. And you must comment. You must comment. I don't know how you get on there. You have to go off the live chat to comment or like. Uh, ring my bell. Let's go forward. Let's keep building this car. We'll see you tomorrow.